All right, so the final step here now, because we have this actually looking pretty close to what we want, is to actually put a nav bar up here and to actually put a carousel here. Uh, these are just, again, these are placeholders of our placeholders. So uh, that's what we're going to do next. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So uh, we'll expand this guy. And the first thing I need to do is basically this nav bar. This is going to have to come out, okay? And we're going to put the other one in. So we're going to go to getbootstrap.com. Okay, and uh, let me make this so you can see it. Okay, we go to getbootstrap.com. We click on home so you can see it. There's also a link down to the side there. Um, but if we click on get started, I think it's get started. Yep. Uh, and where we got some of the other stuff earlier, you'll see that there on the left, they'll actually have a section called components. You open that up and then there's a bunch of different components. And you could try these out if you want. You literally just have to copy and paste them in there and you'll get an idea of what they do. Um, some of them are pretty advanced. Some of them are actually just basic formatting. They don't really do that much. Um, but one of the ones that's really nice is this nav bar. So I'm going to click on nav bar and I'm going to scroll down and it just talks about a bunch of stuff. Uh, and they show you all these options. So like this nav bar is what this code is. And I can click on copy and it will copy it. But I don't really want the search bar. So I'm going to leave that one alone. Um, there's another one. I don't really care about that one. There's all these different options here, right? Uh, is that the one I want? No, I want this one. The reason I want this one is because it comes with this drop down link. So if you click it, it does that, which is pretty, pretty, pretty cute. So uh, that way, if I want to use it, it's there. I might just remove it anyway, but it's cool to just have that option and we can worry about deleting it and stuff as well later. Uh, but any one of these can be made manually, but they just already have these pre made templates. So why not use them, right? So I'm just going to go here and I'll just hit copy. And then I'm just going to go back to my site here. And then where it says nav bar, I'm going to take this guy out, delete, and I'm going to enter, enter, just so there's a gap so it's a little bit easier to see where it is. And then we'll hit control V. And you're going to see it's a big old gobbledygook of stuff. All right. Um, another thing I want to do is if you look, you see navs right here, which is indented, but the next one isn't. So I'm going to go from this all the way to the ending nav and just hit tab, tab, tab. So that it goes inside of this one. Okay, so now you can see. And basically, this is the nav bar. Now, I'm not going to worry about um, putting any of the elements in it right now. That'll be for another day to format this. Um, because we've got to go through and change the names and the links and all that other stuff. Uh, but for now, it's in there just so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to minimize this. And you can see, look at See how it's got this little thing? You click on this. It's got the little drop down. But watch, when we make it expand, uh, see how it doesn't show it? Uh, hang on a second. If I expand my window, it'll probably, ah, you can't see it, but it will, it'll actually shrink. It's just got to be expanded enough. And then you can see it will give you the menu. Okay. So uh, that's pretty sweet. Now I got to resize everything. Okay. So ain't nothing wrong with that. Sorry, trying to get this to be. Okay, so it'll give us a little uh, menu there and it comes with the hamburger menu. So you can click on it, it'll expand, it won't expand. And then when it's big, it will uh, show you all the items. So it's perfect for mobile and for uh, the other stuff. Okay, so that was the one component I wanted to put. And then the other one is the carousel. Um, and that is right here. So I put this picture in there for right now. Um, we can go ahead and remove that, but let's wait. But so that's where this is going to go. This next one. So if you go over here again on the left, uh, you'll see the carousel. You click our carousel and it's going to give you some options here. So it starts off with a really super limited one. That's just going to, I think it just auto slides to the next one, um, which is cool. And then there's, you know, with controls and then there's ones with, uh, the little, uh, bottom marks and then there's one that's got the um, information in there too the captions I'm gonna copy the captions one so I'll hit copy and then I'm gonna go back here and then right in here I'm actually not gonna take the image out right away and I'll show you why in a second and I'm just gonna go like this make sure it's spaced on the other side it's just that way you can tell where it starts and it ends and then we'll paste it it's gonna be the same thing as last time where it's too far over so I'm gonna go from here all the way up to here and then hit tab 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 so that the carousel tabs in 
just so that it's clean like it's supposed to be. Okay. So if we were to look at this right now, uh, and I'll look at it real quick. It's a little weird, but um, this is the picture we had. You'll see there's no images in here. It's just empty. Uh, and that's because we don't have anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just take this picture and slap it on in there. That's actually why I didn't get rid of it. So what we're going to do is let's maximize this again. I'm literally just going to take that image right here. This guy, I'm just going to cut it. Control X. We can get rid of those extra spaces. And then if you scroll up, you will see that there's a, a part where it says, okay, carousel item, carousel item. Should have been should have been three of them. Okay, yeah. So carousel item active, carousel item, and carousel item. These are our three slides that we have in there. So what I'm going to do is that there's a part in here that says image. This part I'm literally just going to um, remove. Although it does have some stuff in it. What is this stuff? Okay, I'm going to paste it in here. Control V. My image. And then I'm just going to take this class here. Because I'm assuming that's important for something. I'm going to grab that. Control C. Space control V. I'm going to add it to the class I already had of the image fluid. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove that one's image. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this whole thing, control C to copy or command C. And then I'm just going to paste it for this one. And then we'll paste it for the next one too. Okay. Just like that. So now it's just going to be the same picture over and over again, but you know, it should be fine. And we'll minimize it. And expand this one and then you can see here's our slideshow and it's just those three same pictures but you can see it is moving slides by this and also it says second slide label um, and you can see we have basically kind of what we had before I didn't put colors in because we'll deal with that later that's more of a, a aesthetic thing uh, but now we have all of the features and our information in there uh, you know we, we have a, a, a good dummy site uh, at this point okay uh, and that should be good, I think, for this. Yeah, so um, if you do run into issues, which is very likely that you're like, oh, man, I don't know where the thing starts or ends. Uh, like I said, I always try to put spaces between them just so that I know where it's supposed to start and end. Um, but what I would suggest doing is either undoing it or just grab the whole thing and delete it. Don't try to figure out where you made an error because you'll have a hard time doing that. You're better off just taking the whole thing just delete it and put a whole new one in. So even if you have to take the whole row out and just remake a new row, do that. Um, it's easier than trying to figure out where you might have made a mistake uh, in here. Okay, uh, that's honestly what I even do because it's just there's a lot of there's just too many words and I get confused as to like oh is this div attached to that div and that div to this div it makes it kind of hard. So just if you need to just remove the whole thing and then put the whole thing in. You can also look at the code obviously below uh, to know what it should look like.